Aloha. Welcome to today's Aloha United We Stand show. And I am Carol Mon Lee, your host for today. And I am very pleased to have as our special guest, Gerald Shintaku from the Hawaii Food Bank. Welcome, Gerald. Welcome. Oh, well, thank you very much. And happy holidays to you. Thank it's you. coming right up. It <laughs> is. It's a really important time, I'm sure, for the food bank, too. It sure is. It sure is. Yeah. Now, how long have you been with the food bank? I know you're president. Yes. I was uh, fortunate to join the food bank on staff uh, December 1st. So I'm coming up on 11 months now. Uh-huh. Uh, I was on the board for about 14 years prior to that in my previous career. Uh, so I was on the board, um, watched all the good activities that, uh, you know, was uh, occurring at the food bank. I had a chance to retire from my previous uh, position with uh, Kraft Foods last August. And I was retired and playing a lot of golf and relaxing and kind of getting a little bored and got the call from the food bank and uh, when they asked me to join the food bank on staff. Yes, well, it's a really important organization for our community. Yes. So, so tell us what's happening. What's new at the food bank? Well, there's always a lot of things going on, uh, Carol. You know, we, uh, we have to deal with about 287,000 people that have a need for our services or one of our partner agency services throughout the year. That's about one in five people in the state of Hawaii. So it's a huge number of people that we serve. So is that on all islands? That's including all islands. And yes. children as well as? Children. We have about 43,000 uh, keiki and about 45,000 kupuna that are also serviced as part of that number. So yeah, we touch a lot of people you know, with our services. And what are your services? Well, we primarily, um, what we do at the food bank is we actually, uh, we receive donations of product and then some product we actually uh, purchase. Then we warehouse it. And we also check product that's being donated to make sure it's safe, edible, make sure it's not, uh, you know, the cans aren't rusty or, or leaking and any of that, make sure it's safe to go back out. Uh, we inventory it, inventory it, and we work with about 225 agencies here in Oahu that actually come to us on a daily basis that comes to pick up food. So we don't actually have the needy coming to our warehouse in Mapuna Puna. But we have a great partnership with these agencies uh, throughout the island of Oahu and Kauai that come to our location. Uh, they either pick up food. Um, our top 20, our 20 largest agencies actually get a delivery from us depending on when they're servicing their needy people. It could be once or twice a week. It could be um, once a month. It could be every two weeks. It just depends on how often they service their people. Uh, these include uh, food pantries and churches and uh, rehabilitation groups. So we deal with a lot of people that actually help us get the food, the people that need the food. Right. So um, you mentioned your partners. So I know you're, of course, a member of Aloha United Way. So yes. are your partners also members of Uni Aloha United Way? Most of them are. Yes, absolutely they are. Um, you know, Aloha United Way helps us in many ways. Um, you know, one of the big ways is uh, the, through the um, donor-designated donations. So, you know, it's a very, very popular program uh, for people that are employed. You know, right. they take you right off the paycheck and uh, they direct their money to the food bank. Um, we also have, they also allocate some of their monies to the safety net program. So about $100,000 of it uh, that Aloha United Way allocates to various uh, major causes um, like um, medical, uh, people that need housing, you know, in emergency situations. They also... So the safety net program is an AUW program. Yes, I'm sorry, yes, it's an AUW program. And so how is that linked with the food bank? Uh, they allocate about $100,000 uh, in case there's a need, emergency need for food. Um, so you benefit from those donations that are allocated to the um, safety net. Yes, you exactly. Get that. Exactly. Yeah, every so year you get $100,000. That's about that. About that about that much every year. Yeah. What is your general budget? How big is your um, budget? Our operating budget is about $5 million a year. And where so, does that all come from? Um, the bulk of it, uh, the revenue side comes in from individuals that donate uh, funds to us. Uh, you know, we have different vehicles for them to do that, you know, primarily to our direct mail, our newsletters, our email callouts, and then we have events throughout the year that uh, we have a um, really good community support on uh, people come in and participate, whether that's a food drive, uh, we have uh, an event at the uh, uh, food bank itself called Great Chefs, where we kind of open up our warehouse and we invite chefs to come in and cook up some food. Um, and then we also have a golf tournament. So we have a few events throughout the year to help us, you know, just publicize what we do. 
and right. to get people to donate. I think many of us are familiar with the um, donation of cans, right, uh, at yes. work. Yes. Uh, so that brings up a question of past due, or as you say, you inventory and mm -hmm. stock your warehouse. So do people are carefully not bring you cans or anything that are past due dates? Are those, is that an issue? Yeah, we take a look at it, and the main thing is it's not rusty or leaking or just severely dented. Yeah, as long as it's not in one of those states, we um, alloc or we, we categorize, we box it up, and we do allow the people to take it, the agencies to take it along right. with them. Okay, so now go back and go back to your events, these uh -huh. great events that you yes. have, about three or four times a year, you yes. said. Did you just have one recently? Or are you having one in the next, um, before the year end? Let's see. Um, right now we have a program with the supermarkets called Checkout Hunger. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep, so that's a big one. And um, is that a regular program you do every year? Yeah, we've had this, we've been fortunate to have this uh, run for about 23 years. And of the 23 years, uh, Kraft Foods uh, kind of underwrote some of our expenses for the last 13 years, uh, where you go to various supermarkets across the islands and you'll see a, a little uh, point of sale thing by the check stand that has different tickets where consumers can actually donate money right at the check stand. Right, so is that different than what I've seen at my Safeway is there's a bag that's actually been filled mm -hmm. with food yes. and then one can pay and I guess choose which size. Is that different than? Yes, it's different. Okay. So each of the retailers you know, support us in different ways and Safeway has that program. Um, and but does then, that go to the food? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh -huh. Actually, it does. So whatever you do with that program also comes to the food bank, and so does the Checkout Hunger. I see. Okay, so do we have something to show on the Checkout Hunger? There we go. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about sure, this poster? Absolutely. So you'll see this at, the, at various supermarkets across the state. Uh, the participating stores are the Safeway stores. Uh, on the Big Island, we have KTA Superstores and Choice Mart. Uh, on Oahu and Maui, we have Time Supermarkets, uh, Shima's on Oahu. Uh, we have Big Save on Kauai, um, Don Quixote, and for the first time this year, we have Marokai participating here on Oahu. Uh, also on Oahu, we have Tamura Supermarket in Waianae, along with the Tamura's Markets and Fine Wines and Liquors all over Oahu and Maui. So we've got an abundance of support from a lot of the local supermarkets. Yeah, I see. What about the mainland chains? I noticed we have Safeway, but uh -huh. what about Whole Foods? What times is a local super supermarket? Oh, um, yeah, well, right, right now we have Safeway, uh -huh. and okay. Whole Foods and some of the other retailers support us in different ways. Uh -huh. How but do they support you? Um, in various ways. They do donations throughout the year, and actually Whole Foods has a program now uh, where they actually just donated a bunch of turkeys to us uh, for Thanksgiving, which was really nice. In fact, there's a promotion um, tied into that um, with Uber, and I believe it's... <laughs> Free turkey uh, you, with a ride? If, if you need a ride to Kahala Mall to uh -huh. shop, uh, Uber will give you a special prize, and there's a donation to the food bank of a turkey. I believe that's the program itself. So it's a really nice uh, program that we have. Um, a lot of these programs that we do have are available to, you know, for more details on our website, mm -hmm. uh, www.hawaiifoodbank.org. So you can probably get more details on that. Right. Yeah. And so about how much do you expect to receive in donations from, you mentioned your $5 million budget. So oh, what, yes. What yes. if that comes from these types of mm -hmm. donations? Yeah, so like in last year, Checkout Hunger uh, raised about $288,000, the overall program did. Now a portion of that does go to the islands that, it, uh, that was raised on. So for people on, that are watching on Maui, the funds that are raised on Maui through the supermarkets there will go to the Maui Food Bank. Uh, the people that are watching on the Big Island, the money they're raised through KTA and the stores there will go to the uh, Food Basket, and they, they have a, a branch in Hilo and one in Kona. So is Food Basket different than Food Bank? Um, it's just a different name, but the primary purpose is about the same. Mm -hmm. So we don't uh, have oversight over the Maui Food Bank or the uh, Big Island Food Baskets. But we do work in partnership to make sure that we've got, you know, if we have an overabundance of food here uh, and it's a particular item, we'll ship product to the Maui Food Bank or to the Big Island and vice versa. You know, the, I see. The, so you have to pay to ship? Yes, right now we do have to pay. So there is a cost involved with that. And so we have to do run, you know, we do run fundraising events right. uh, to help offset those shipping costs. Sure. Wouldn't know? it, does it ever come up, up that perhaps it's better to buy the food on the neighbor islands and stock here? Your, 
Um, yeah, I think it depends on what there, the item huh? is. Like the Big Island, there's an abundance of produce farmers there. Right. Papaya. And, yeah, papaya and just various types of fruits and vegetables. So um, rather than let it go to waste, uh, from time to time, they'll ship it to Oahu or to Maui. So again, we can share in some of that. And we're always looking for, you know, produce, fresher foods. Right. You know, I think the, uh, the connotation of a food bank is probably a Cans. lot of canned goods. Yeah, whether it's fruits or vegetables or meats. But one of our uh, emphasis areas have been this past year and, and last couple of years has been to try to provide more produce and fresh foods to the, the needy people. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. What about on Kauai? Didn't you... Yes, we have a branch on Kauai. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, check out Hunger. If you shop on Kauai, uh, again, those, money, the, those dollars will go to our Hawaii Food Bank Kauai branch. And uh, we also ship uh, you know, a good amount of food from Oahu to Kauai to help supplement what they're able to get there. You know, with Kauai, they don't have as many businesses or suppliers that we have here on Oahu. So they have really good participation from the, the uh, businesses there, but we also have to supplement with uh, product going from Oahu there to help the people there on Kauai. I see. And so in terms of staff, do you have, yeah. how many staff do you have at the food bank? Do you have a separate group here in Honolulu and then on the neighbor islands? Yes, we do. In total, we have about 40 staff people uh, with both, at food, both food banks. Uh, on the Kauai side, we have about, I think it's five, five people that actually do that. Uh, paid employees. Right. We have a, a, a huge amount of volunteers, so the volunteers that we have here on Oahu and on Kauai really helps us get the, the message out, really helps us fulfill the cause that we need to. Um, so on an annual basis, in fact on a daily basis, you'll see you know a dozen or so uh, volunteers at our uh, food banks. Uh, you'll see on the weekends, specific weekends of the month, you'll, in fact this coming weekend we have about 100 um, volunteers coming in you know, some for the military, um, and businesses support us tremendously. So actually, First Hawaiian Bank is coming in this weekend. And what are they going to do? They're going to, we have various tasks. We actually have a, um, a senior uh, feeding program that we do. It's a federally, uh, federal grant that we receive, and what we have to do is we buy the components of this box, uh, this feeding box. We buy the components and pallets. It comes and in. what are in the components? Uh, dried milk. We have juice, um, typically some kind of uh, peanut butter, um, maybe a canned vegetable or canned uh, fruit, and then we give them a bag of cheese. But we bring in that product in bulk, and then the volunteers come in and help us actually assemble it. So we actually have a huge assembly line in our parking lot. It's tented, so they're protected from the sun. Um, we have one on one end, they're creating boxes. They're making actually boxes, and it goes down the assembly line, and all the volunteers are putting in the different components in till the very end. Wow. Yeah, but this is a program we started about a year ago, and we're up to 2,400. So on a monthly basis, we're helping about 2,400 seniors here on Oahu oh, get some food. And, right. and, and the box is pretty heavy. It's about 30, 32 pounds worth of product wow. that we're able to give them. So it's, it's nice to see their, their, their smiles on their face, you know, when they yes. receive it. Um, because um, uh, it just helps them make it, you know, through the through month. The, of course. Exactly. Well, on that note, we're going to hold, take a brief break. Uh, and be right back. This is Carol Monley with my guest, Gerald Shintaku, who is the president of the Hawaii Food Bank. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Chris Leatham with The Economy and You, and I'd like to invite you each week to come watch my show each Wednesday at 3 p.m. For a very healthy summer, watch Viva Hawaii. We're giving you the best tips and with our best health coach here. So, Viva Health Coach. Viva la comida saludable. Aloha, my name is Justine Espiritu and I am the co-host of Hawaii Farmers Series. This is my co-host, Matthew Johnson, and we are live with you every Thursday at 4 p.m. at thinktechhawaii.com. And our show focuses on Hawaii's local food uh, community. We feature not only the farmers that are producing our food, but we also feature the supporters and other folks involved in the community that are trying to promote local agriculture. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. This is Carol Monley, and I'm very pleased to have our guest, Gerald Shintaku, who is the president of AUW, uh, one of AUW beneficiaries, the Hawaii Food Bank, an, an organization that's very important and dear to our hearts here in our community. 
so. Okay, so we were just talking about these wonderful boxes that you make for our kapuna. Mm -hmm. And so about, in general, how many pounds do you distribute a year? Is that a good question to figure out how you measure what Absolutely. you're Absolutely. Most capacity? people are just so surprised, you know, when they come to the Mapuna Puna, our warehouse here on uh, Oahu as well as Kauai. Uh, we actually distribute about a million pounds of food a month. A month? That comes out of our warehouse and goes to these agencies that we work with to give to the needy. So it's a, it's, if you do the math, it's about 50,000 pounds a day of food goes out. It's a million pounds a month. And throughout the course of the year, last year I think we did about 13.1, 13.2 million pounds of food went out to the people that need So more, mil more than a million a month that Oh, year. yes, absolutely. So, you know, we have a, a staff of about 40 fine people. They work really hard. They're very passionate about the cause. And then the volunteers that I mentioned earlier, we have tremendous amount of support from the community with volunteerism. And so they all help us get this out to the people that need it. So have you found that, um, of course, the recession was almost ten, eight years ago, uh, and I'm sure the need was very high then. Has yes. the need changed as the economy has improved? Um, no, it really hasn't. You know, it really hasn't. Actually, when the economy turned down, uh, what we used to depend on in the past in numbers of our pounds of donations of food switched over to the amount, amount of food now we have to purchase. So because the, when the economy turned down, a lot of the, you know, the, the suppliers that we had had to sh you know, sharpen their pencil up yes. because we have to make sure they stay in business. Right. Um, so they sharpened their pencils in terms of their ordering patterns and so on and so forth. So now we find ourselves actually having to purchase more food. And so with that said, you know, people think of the food bank and they think of bringing canned goods, which is wonderful. But we also appreciate uh, you know, any kind of cash or funding um, uh, supplies, uh, surplus, um, uh, some cash. Donation, donations. Donations, right? yeah, exactly. Right that cash. plays a big part because we. What percentage do you think it, what is uh, cash donations? What percentage uh, are cans, people saving, mm -hmm. or office drives? Mm -hmm. And what percentage is maybe grants and other, other ways that you raise funds? Uh, that's a good question. Well, right now, um, I think we get about 66% of our uh, food uh, between the supermarkets that, that are here in the islands, as well as the manufacturers and the, the farms, the wholesalers, the, the producers here. And then the rest of it comes, about 15% of it comes through food purchases. So th nice. that number, 15%, actually has doubled over the last 10 years. So it was a lot smaller, you know, uh, but now uh, it's f up to 15%. And uh, So in uh, terms of num uh, dollars, how much is that? Um, you know, I don't have that number off mm. the top of my head, okay. uh, but we donate. Well, I think last year we probably spent about four hundred thousand dollars, maybe a little bit more than that, to just purchase food. Purchase food. Yeah. Purchasing cans and extra. Yes, food. exactly. I yeah, see. we're affiliated with a, 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 a national organization called Feeding America, and it's an affiliation of uh, food banks across the country. And so this, this affiliation with that group allows us to tap into food sources or food suppliers across the country that have an over inventory or surplus of maybe manufactured goods that maybe didn't quite sell. And so we get a good discount off of it. They ship them to Hawaii? Oh yes, we actually, we can purchase it. So we have a, there's a website that we can look at and find out where these pockets of foods are, including some grade B foods. So they could be canned goods, but maybe the, the peas or the corn or whatever is in there might not be graded grade A where we buy stuff from the supermarkets with. It may not be all the same size, yeah, the same could be, color. Yeah, just small issues, but are very edible and very nutritious. So we also have uh, a source to find out where those inventories are, and uh, we're able to um, uh, purchase it and uh, bring it to the West Coast. And we have a good partnership with the two big shipping lines here that ship product to Hawaii. And so they help us bring it over to uh, to the food bank. Wow, yeah. very complicated. Yeah. You know, we talked a little bit earlier. Um, as I attend different functions, banquets, mm -hmm. programs, and there are there's always a wonderful spread buffet, but mm -hmm. there always seems to be a lot of leftovers. Yes. And we talked about one of your partners and how how does that get reused or at least not wasted in yeah, our so community. yeah we're we at the Hawaii food bank we're not equipped to to make those pickups you know typically it's after a buffet line or right. some kind of a big party as you mentioned carol so there's another organization in town called aloha harvest and their function or their main uh, charge is to um you know go on and, and tap in and find these sources you know of food that are available so, so they're also at auw I believe so, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Organization, yes, uh -huh. exactly. 
And how do they partner with you? Do they partner with you at all? Um, not right, right, not right now. Uh, but we're working towards that, you know, um, because again, at the end of the day, it's all about feeding the needy, feeding the hungry, and um, so uh, we're looking for opportunities right now to do that. So, do you keep statistics on the number of hungry people? You mentioned the two hundred plus thousand. Uh -huh. uh, are they all being fed, and or are we also seeing some? problems because they you can't reach them all yeah the one thing with hunger it's not very visible you know right. when you talk about homeless it's pretty apparent when you you know drive through the streets where the homeless camps are the homeless people are but with food it could be anybody and it couldn't it doesn't necessarily have to be for a whole year or for years it could be you or I you know for some reason um, during a certain month we had some kind of a uh, unexpected medical expenditure or you know, our car broke down, or something that affected us, and so, you know, when when you rent a place, you have to pay your rent and you have to pay your utilities, right? Right. So the money goes there, and then kind of what's left over is your food budget, right? But if something you know dramatic happens and you just don't have enough to buy yourself the food that you need for the month, then um, then you have to make certain adjustments, okay. and so those are the people that you don't see. They're living in an apartment or uh, wherever, uh, but you don't see them, but they also are, you know, taking advantage of our services. And uh, as you say, through your partners, uh -huh. right? Yes. As opposed to coming down to your Mapuna Puna Correct. warehouse, Correct. they will use one of your 20 plus partners. Yes, we have over 200 agencies across Oahu. Oh. Uh, we have another, I think, 30 on Kauai. And again, they're located throughout the, uh, you know, throughout the North Shore, out on the leeward side, out on the east side a lot here you know in the central part of Oahu but they're located uh, all over the place so it's from a convenience standpoint it, it, it allows people to not have to travel far distance to get food or have a car or have or a car exactly even, yeah exactly how do we find out the names of those by going to your website yep, you can come to our website you know hawaiifoodbank.org and you can uh, look it up um, and um, uh, yeah we'll be happy to you know I think the reference is there oh, good yeah. so do you have some more numbers for us um, so no, I think, you know, just, uh, you know, the, the, the neat thing, you know, I, I came from uh, uh, Kraft Foods and I'm now working for the uh, food bank. And one thing that I do know is uh, many nonprofits, you know, they're very good in terms of, um, you know, how they're able to stretch their dollars. So at the food bank, you know, for every $10 that you donate, we can buy 25 meals for somebody that needs it. Oh. Yeah. So, and part of it is due to what I talked about earlier in terms of being able to source this food on the mainland. Again, it might not be grade A could be grade B, which is very edible. Right. Um, um, but, you know, again, $10 equates to 25 meals. And if you think about it, I mean, that's a lot of uh, impact you have. We really, yeah. yeah. So this program, this Checkout Hunger program that we have is, um, you know, last year generated about $288,000 um, $288, for us. And so with that, with that said, you know, I mean, if you do the math on it, I think it comes out to somewhere around... Um, Look at my figures, so I get it right here. About 720,000 meals wow. was it, we were able to generate uh, from this Checkout Hunger program. And it runs from uh, now through January 17th. Right. Yes. I can see it. For $2.81, you can feed a child breakfast for a week. Yes. And for twelve forty three, you can feed a senior lunch for a month. Right. It's amazing. And for $16.84, you can actually feed a family dinner for a week. Exactly. Again, that's through the efficiencies of what we're able to purchase, plus all the donations that we get from the community. Um, you know, so when you go to those participating supermarkets that I did mention earlier, you'll see this uh, stand by the check stand. And so very simple, uh, as you're buying your groceries, you just pick off the denomination you want to donate, and they scan it in and it gets added to your food bill. Right. No pain. Most you know? people won't feel it at all. Exactly. Right? Exactly. If you think about it, you know, um, you know, whether it's a drink, of, you know, a cup of coffee or whatever it is, it's um, if you or just less. It's a cup of coffee is more than two dollars <laughs> and eighty-one cents. Yeah, maybe nowadays. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, add it to the food bill, and if you need a record for okay. your taxes, mm -hmm. um, you can do that too. So. And look what we have here on the screen. This is a letter from a child. Do you know anything about this? Um, you know, we get um, uh, so many letters from uh, people across the state. Uh, let me look at a ticket. Quick it says, ticket. Dear Food Bank of Hawaii, thank you for the food. And we appreciate that you give us food. Oh, okay. And it is so good. Yeah. So this looks like it's from a very grateful child. Yes. 
Yeah, we do have. And a with this painting that was included, thank you for the food. Yeah, That's we just lovely. recently got a message from a child through one of our programs that helps one of the really underprivileged elementary schools here on Oahu, and uh, it's a, called a backpack program. So we pack up these little backpacks for the children, on, uh, so they can take it home on Fridays. Because if you're underprivileged or needy, you get breakfast and lunch at school. So throughout the week, they're taken care of. But when you go home on the weekends, if your family doesn't have the resources, then you go hungry. So we pack up a little backpack of food for them to take home for the weekend. And uh, not it's only- It's to we, feed the family. We, that basically what it comes down to. So it, it, the intent is to take care of the child. Mm -hmm. but we had a nice little uh, note uh, a few months ago uh, from a child thanking us. Uh, basically, she said, um, thank you for the backpack, because now grandma can have some soup. Oh. And so, you know, you know, the child is sharing with the family and Wonderful. that we're taking care of everybody in, or as many people as we can in the house. Right. So, but uh, yeah, we have letters like that all the time. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we have one minute left, Gerald, and I'd like you to, if you would, address our camera and um, tell us what you would like our community to hear about the Hawaii Food Bank. Sure, absolutely. Well, besides the Check Out Hunger program that we talked about today, you know, this is, so we're getting into the season of giving with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. So we have a lot of businesses that support us with food drives and monetary donations, but I'd just like to reach out to individuals out there as you are looking at your planning for year end, if you can continue to keep the Hawaii Food Bank uh, or give us consideration, um, you know, as again, you're making your year end, um, you know, financial arrangements and, and donations and such. Um, all your food goes out to a worthy cause. Uh, 95 cents of every dollar actually goes back to providing services to the needy. So we're a very efficient organization. We have got a great bunch of passionate people, and I'm so fortunate to be able to be associated with them. So wow. thank you, Carol. Thank you so much, Gerald. This thank is you. such an important organization for our community to help keep all of us strong, and we appreciate the good work that you and the Hawaii Food Bank. Thank That's you very right. much for letting thank us share you. our message today. Aloha. Thank you. Okay. So for us today at Hawaii, Think Tech Hawaii, Aloha, and